So politicians in general are really, really, really slow when it comes to adopting and using new technology. Now, in this election, we did see uh, Labour really put a lot of money into TikTok advertising and things like that. However, what you don't see, of course, is how many Labour MPs are actually on TikTok, how many Labour MPs are on things like Threads, Blue Sky, you know, the alternatives to Twitter. Because I am very, very much in agreement that if you are a political party that, well, is not, shall we say, on the side of, of Elon Musk, um, you may find yourself at a general election paying money for ads and disadvantaging, disadvantaging yourself in an algorithm that does not like what you are saying because Elon Musk is in charge. And that should be worrying to every single political platform. In fact, it should be worrying to every single political party that still at least maintains a presence on Twitter. And yet we do still see a lot of our, you know, members of parliament still actively using Twitter, like as their main form of communication. Yes, some might have Facebook pages, etc. But a lot of them still use Twitter very, very heavily. But given all the stuff with, with Elon Musk and things like that, well, you know, maybe maybe it's time to move on, guys. You know, maybe it's time to go look at threads. Maybe it's time to go look, you know, at Blue Sky, you know. Um, Hopefully they will, you know, move on. Um, I wouldn't surprise if they do, but bear in mind, politicians move so, so slowly when it comes to this. I mean, think about how long it actually took, if you, you may remember, your local MP to actually start using uh, either, you know, social media or at least, you know, regularly or even have a Twitter account, you know. Um, they are a very, very long, a long time. Uh, it takes a long time for them to adopt the, these platforms. Unfortunately, in this case, because of that, because they are so slow to adapt to new platforms, etc., things like Twitter and because of Elon Musk have become a massive potential threat to them to help get their message out. Because a lot of you know MPs and Westminster in general do rely on Twitter for that. Now, of course, people like Nigel Farage would probably love it. I wouldn't be surprised if you see over the next couple of years Farage's engagement over on Twitter to increase massively so. But anyway, we're going to get onto this because I think this is a, a, a call uh, by a Labour MP to say, hey, look, um, we need to go onto these other platforms because... Yeah, we can't trust Musk. And I, I think they're right. I think they are right to say we cannot trust Elon Musk. So before we do get into this, please do remember to click the like, share, and subscribe button. Down below, there are links to my Patreon page, the Watchdation link, or Buy Me Coffee, where you can want Buy Me Coffee, the YouTube thank you button. And of course, as always, there is a Pony Club down below. So let's crack on then into this. So Westminster reliance on Elon Musk's X is now totally wrong, says Labour MP. So Westminster now needs to wean itself off Twitter, a close ally of Keir Starmer has now said. He suggested that Elon Musk was now deliberately manipulating its algorithm to boost his own political and personal interests. Uh, that's it's, it's not deliberate at all. Um, I've said this for, many for a while. I've said this for, for a lot of times. I think Elon Musk has become radicalized by his own algorithm. I think he is doing that. Um, for what he wants to see for his own political and personal interests. Uh, of course he's going to do this. You know, Twitter is now his personal plaything. Um, then, you know, to, to heck with everyone else. John Simmons, the MP for uh, Mackerfield, the former head 
of the Starmerite think tank Labour together, said he believed that the British political class was now dangerously addicted to the platform, formerly known as Twitter. Simmons maintains a very active Twitter profile, but says he is not keen to overuse it. So his comments do now reflect a very growing concern amongst Labour MPs about the impact of Twitter after the summer's riots, during which misinformation spread rapidly on the platform. But they have now also threatened to exasperate tensions between the government and the company, with Musk now continuing to attack Starmer over ministers' response to the violence. Simmons, a technology expert who wrote a book on, art on artificial intelligence, said to The Guardian in an interview, I think that Twitter's algorithm is, is a ranking model, which determines what we see on Twitter and when we open it. This has now manifestly changed since Elon Musk took over. Not least because I don't think he's ever liked anything that uh, that that he, that that he ever said. I see lots of him all the time, and I really don't want to. I've even said show less of this, but there he is every time, and that's a sure sign that when a founder and owner of a company of you see more of them on the algorithm, despite not liking them, or or of just something now going on. He said, I think that he's now totally and completely wrong and very harmful to British democracy, that the Westminster bubble gets to know each other through now a ranking model designed by a man who's now spending his life champ uh, champ campaigning for Donald Trump. I think it's all very short-sighted of us. Uh, Twitter, of course, refused to respond to comment. Um, yeah, what a surprise. What a surprise on that. Um, I completely agree with his comments. This is something I've been saying for a while on here. Uh, I think it's very, very true. But he goes on to say more on this as well. He said the mood, of course, is changing quite radically. I think that Twitter is a bit of a sort of a boomers slash Gen X thing about it. It's interesting that amongst all the new intake, quite a lot of people are quite skeptical about it. I don't think it's necessarily that we'll ever don't won't use it, but at least because it gives us now another tool to be seen on. And of course, that's about um, you know going to other platforms. You've had this new intake on the, all this stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, whether they will keep using Twitter on and how on how long for, but yeah, I would not be surprised if. If really since the summer you have seen a lot more Labour MPs go over to Blue Sky to Threads, uh, that would not shock me. But yeah, I definitely think that might be the case. I think that is the case, absolutely. That they are probably you're going to be seeing probably a lot of political parties maybe jumping shit because yeah, because of Elon Musk. I mean, remember this guy is campaigning for Donald Trump. So he is very, very clearly sort of pinning his his political colors to the mask. Elon Musk has always been very vocal, even before he bought Twitter, about what political policies he liked, what politicians he did and didn't like. So with him now in charge of that platform, why is he not going to favor those types of things? And anyone who is against those things or speaks out or criticizes that type of thing. What do you think is going to happen to their platform, to them on that, and to their Twitter profile, to them on that platform? They're not going to get seen at all. So it all comes down eventually to messaging. And can you get your message out effectively? I think there's now a lot of Labour MPs going, yeah, we need to look at elsewhere. We need to look at where else we can go. And I think it is about time. Uh, that Labour MPs do look at that and where they can go. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully there will be a, an exodus, uh, or, or an exodus, <laughs> hopefully once again soon by these people. But it is something to worry about. And it is something that, you know, if you are on the left in general, what happens to you now if you are putting stuff out there? Because I still have a, a, a Twitter profile purely out of professional curiosity but i still have it i still use it um but let me know what you think uh down below do you think this is is, is a long time coming do you think mp should have jumped ship um like like we all did uh 
really a couple of months ago. Has your MP made the switch yet? Um, have you encouraged your MP to make the switch yet? You know, um, do let me know down in the below in the comments. And of course, as always, we'll see you all next time.